at 11 and breaking on the night team. Bryant men's basketball head coach is now facing a charge related to a car accident. A North Smithfield police report just obtained by NBC 10 News describes the events stemming from that incident, which happened last Sunday. Now, the report says officers responded to a crash along Route 146 South and a driver claimed a white car had sideswiped her car before taking off. Police were actually able to trace the fleeing car's registration back to Jared Grasso, the head coach for Bryant men's basketball. When police followed up with Grasso the next day, the report notes that his white Buick had damage to it. It also states Grasso told police he was driving the car the day of the accident. The report indicates Grasso acted erratically throughout the officer's check, even claiming that Grasso called 911, quote, several times while police were there. The next day, Grasso, along with his attorney, turned himself into police. He's been charged with failure to stop for an accident resulting in damage. He was released and is due back in court on October 24th. Now, you may remember, Grasso was placed on leave from Bryant back on September Right now at 5 o'clock, Bryant basketball coach. Jared Grasso resigning from the university today. Grasso posted on social media about why he's leaving, but made no connection to his behavior after a recent traffic accident. Temi Topa Adelaide is live near the Bryant campus in Smithfield with details. Temi. Dan and Patrice Grasso's resignation caught some folks off guard this morning. Bryant University confirmed his resignation and mentioned their plan to move forward. Bryant University men's basketball will be moving forward without its head coach of five seasons, Jared Grasso. He posted a lengthy message which says in part, it is with mixed emotions that I announce my resignation as the head men's basketball coach at Bryant University. The rigors of a coach's lifestyle and three young children can make that extremely challenging. Bryant students like Billy say they were surprised by the decision. But it seemed like he was a good coach, so I feel like overall it, it might affect the team negatively, but I mean, We'll I'll have to see once we get a new coach just whether or not it ends up being a good or a bad thing. The decision comes after a controversial start to the season. Grasso went on leave of absence in late September for reasons still unknown. Then in early October, he found himself part of a hit and run investigation involving minor damage to another person's vehicle. In this body cam video, you can see officers questioning him about the incident. The charges were dismissed last week after his insurance accepted liability. Students say his decision to resign may have been for the best. Because of the position that he's in, um, there's people watching you all the time, and it's just like a really tough position to be in, I think. You shouldn't be doing what happens, which yeah. is sad. The men's basketball team is now being led by an interim coach, Phil Martelli Jr., a first time for him. Bryant says Martelli Jr. will remain acting head coach until further notice. Grasso says that he will use this time to focus on family, mental, and his physical health. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we hear more from students and why they say they empathize with him. Live in Smithfield, Timmy Talk by Adelaide, NBC 10 News. How are you doing? This is Nathaniel Sosa's Full Center. Today, I want to talk about Jared Grasso, uh, head men's basketball coach at Bryant University. Uh, recently, he resigned as the head basketball coach from uh, Bryant University. Uh, I'm going to read you an article from Channel 10 News. Uh, Jared Grosso resigns as Bryant University men's basketball coach. Uh, Jared Grosso said on social media Monday that he had resigned as head coach of Bryant University's basketball team. Grosso was re recently involved in a hit-and-run investigation, and before that, the school put him on leave for unexplained reasons. It is with mixed emotions that I announced my resignation as head men's basketball coach at Bryant University. My role as a father and a husband is everything to me. My, the rigors of a coach lifestyle and three young children can make that extremely challenging. My mental and physical health must come first at this time. Grosso said in a lengthy post on uh, Twitter, uh, I mean X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, Brian is located located in Smithfield, confirmed Grosso's resignation and said associate head coach Phil Martelli will continue as interim head coach. Uh, Grosso said he looked forward to spending the holidays with his family for the first time in his career. For the last 25 years, I've chased this game relentlessly in results-oriented mindset. Uh, my obsession and discipline with work, competition, and winning championships is in my blood. But for now, my mental health and uh, surgically repaired back need to be tended to, Grosso said. NBC's 10 News spoke to students who had mixed emotions. Uh, I was a little surprised, to be honest with you. I, I thought that he was going to stay on the team, especially with uh, the charges were dropped. So that's why I kind of thought... He would be staying, uh, said Billy P. As, as a sophomore. I think 
it was for better, honestly. He said seeing uh, Bella uh, Del DeSavo, I think he would have taken a lot of heat if he came back after the whole thing. And I think it was the best interest kind of decision to move on. A hit and run charge against Grosso was dropped last week. North Smithfield police said Grosso's insurance carried except accepted all liability in the case, which was dismissed. Police said a witness told them a car uh, side swiped another vehicle on Route 146 in North Smithfield on October 1st and drove off. Police traced the license plate and found the car was registered to Grosso. North Smithfield police released a body camera video of the officer interviewing Grosso at his home about damage to his car in his driveway. Uh, Brian said uh, it put Grosso on leave of absence on September 27th before the crash investigation for unspecified reasons. He was also restricted from campus. Uh, so it's unfortunate. Uh, again, Brian, uh, Jared Grosso had been at Brian for about uh, five seasons. Uh, Hoop Dirt also did a great job of uh, covering this issue. And, you know, it's always sad for um, schools to lose their head coach in the middle of a season or right before the season. Um, you know, it's, um, like I said, they suspended him for unspecified reasons. Uh, we've seen a Michigan State coach also uh, get fired in the middle of the season or, uh, you know, decided to walk away. And um, this is also always unfortunate for the students. And and it's another thing, uh, me being from Chicago, You re recently Brown University offered like 10 to 20 kids from Chicago. So it was great to see uh, an East Coast school coming to the city of Chicago and just be really determined that they were going to recruit Illinois kids. And now we're possibly, possibly going to lose that. You know, will Bryan University keep Phil Martelli Jr. or um, would they go with a new coach? And if they keep Phil Martelli, will he keep the assistance? Uh, like I said, it was great to see Bryan University make that commitment to, you know, come and recruit the Midwest and recruit Chicago. We always talk about how it's very hard for Chicago kids to get recruited because they have a bad stigma as far as attitude and uh, not being, you know, saying well coached on the high school level. So hopefully Phil Martelli gets the job and hopefully he keeps his assistance. Hopefully Bryan University keeps those offers to those Chicago kids that they decided to offer. And, um, you know, it, that would be a great thing. Um, hopefully Jared Grosso lands on his feet. Ho you know, hopefully he decides to come back. You know, of course, spending time with his family. Hopefully he gets mentally and physically healed. You know, he's saying a bad back. But whatever issues that he's going through, you know, I hope that it works out because, you know, it seems like those students on the campus really love him and, and need him. So, you know, it all is to be determined. Uh, definitely we'll try to keep covering this story to see what more comes out. Will the Now that he's resigned, will the university release what unspecified reasons um, that he was suspended for in the first place? And also, uh, with the hit and run, will details come out? You know, maybe he was intoxicated. That's why he decided to run. But it seems like insurance took the liability, so they, he doesn't have to come out with the details of that case. So, you know, definitely we'll see what's the next steps for this case. And I'll try my best to keep following to guys bring you more stories about this case. It's definitely an interesting case. We don't really know much. But again, this is Nathaniel Sosa Sosa signing out. And you all have a good one.